I'm not really a fan of Sporty and Rich. I think essentially it's just like overblown, overhyped um, merch in some way, shape or form. I don't see it any way, in any way, shape or form being a fashion label. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of maybe an extension of a, a creative studio, an agency or whatever it may be. But to call it a fashion brand is kind of insulting to other fashion brands. But I can't lie. This collaboration they put together with Adidas is kind of hitting. These sambas are kind of fresh. And the funny thing about it is that this is not a new colorway. Maybe the makeup is new, because if I'm not mistaken, the sambas that usually come with this sort of colorway, which is white, black with gum, usually has the longer football type of tongue. So maybe she, um, what's her name? Emily Oberg at Sporty and Spice. Sporty and Spice. Sporty and Rich. Maybe what she did was kind of, you know, swap the tongues out, which is kind of a nice little switch. But I think her going for this classic colorway on the Sambas is really nice and kind of speaks to the overall minimal aesthetic of sporty and rich, being really cozy, very comfy and not doing the most. And I have to always say, whenever I talk about sneaker collaborations, I think I always have to give credit to people because I know I have a tendency of doing it because I remember, you know, when Nike ID was really kind of, you know, starting up and becoming a thing, I used to be sitting on Nike ID designing colorways all day long. And sometimes if you stay too long on a colorway, um, you would end up kind of messing it up and kind of adding too many things onto it. And it will kind of turn into when you were in school and you used to put all the paints into a palette and try and mix it around and it all just turns into this brown, weird mush that doesn't really have any sort of distinctive color in it so you can get a little bit too excited so i always have to give credit to collaborators who work with sportswear brands and who do who kind of you know don't get too crazy and don't get too giddy and just do something simple because imagine having the you know the studio of adidas available to you the resources they have the expertise the talent of designers that you can kind of tap into and kind of, you know, use or kind of lean on and whatnot. And imagine having all that to your kind of, you know, at your fingertips, but you still kind of restrain yourself, pull yourself back and say, no, what actually fits with my brand? Instead of going crazy, designing anything for the sake of it, like those actual Bronson New Balances, no, I'm going to pick a colorway that matches my aesthetic, that matches my brand, that matches my brand DNA, my design codes, blah, 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 the list goes on. And I feel like these Sambas have gone a long way of doing it. And again, this is coming from somebody who's not a fan of flipping Sporty and Spice. I think it's an overrated label that's probably, you know, you know, I don't know how it survived really for the sake of it because it's pretty shit. But I think these sambas are sick. This other color where we have here, um, it kind of looks like a sail type of creamy affair on the upper. You've got a really, really nice tumbled leather sort of um, section here in the middle. Then you've got the suede accents on the on the on the eyelets, and again here on the mud guard, which is a really, really nice addition. And then you've also got some suede hits here or nubok hits. I guess nubok or suede. I guess I'm gonna call it nubok on the heel tab and on the stripes. And of course you've got the sporty and rich um, embossed here on the side, which I do like as well. And the outsole is all gum. So I'm not mad at that in the slightest. I'm not mad. And of course you've got this other color, which is a blue, what do you call it? Ultramarine, maybe more of a sky blue type of colorway. Again, the same makeup with the leather um, main bit on the body here in the middle section. You've got this new box sort of section here with the eyelets again on the, on the, on the toe box. And then you got, and then I guess it switches here with the heel tab. No, the heel tab is still new book as well. So these are really nice they came out really good so big up um big up sporty and spice sporty and rich sporty and spice, jesus christ sporty and sporty and rich for putting these together they look really nice and i also don't mind the tongue personally for me i like sambas with a long tongue i think that's what makes sambas sambas because they're essentially indoor soccer shoes so having that little flap is quite a nice addition and if you don't like it you could always tuck it underneath your jeans but you know some people maybe don't like the flap and it looks weird but i do like that addition if anything if i was maybe designing them I don't know why, maybe they've been done already, but that, that tongue that usually comes up that's long, why don't you just have a bit of Velcro on it? You can just stick it down if you don't want to have it flapping all the time. That might be a good way to go about it. But anyway, um, a quick little read of the article, courtesy of Hypebeast here. It says, Los Angeles-based label, Lowell's label, Sporty and Rich has made, has had quite a journey starting as a mood board um, ideated by founder Emily Oberg that transitioned to a magazine and global renowned imprint focusing on sportswear. Cool. The duo's debut... Last year marked the start of an ongoing partnership with Keeps, 
Oberg's creative output at the forefront. Okay, cool. So it's not only a one hit and done. There's going to be many, many more iterations coming down the pipeline. Cool. After releasing its own version of the Adidas Stan Smith, Campus 80 and the Samba OG, Sporty and Rich is preparing three new colorways of the latter silhouette. So it looks like this year and beyond, this year and beyond is going to be a Samba year. This year and beyond is going to be a Samba year. Yes, Proven 187, big up. Um, This year's year is going to be a Samba year and I'm all for it. Um, it continues. Landing in a trio of distinctive colorways, the first sees Samba original tones maintained across the low-top model, crafted from a premium white leather and classic black accents adorned the medial free stripes and the heel tabs. Beige suede mudguards add contrast complete with gilded tongues and medial branding on the top. The final two, da, 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 cool. take a look. Um, the, the collaboration will drop release the Adidas in the coming month. So no idea on the release date so far. Um, as hypebeats always do, they love to waffle and say loads of jargon for the sake of it. But I do like them. So big up Emily Oberg and big up Sporty and Rich for putting together a pretty solid free pack of shoes there. I would wear every single colorway. I like the addition of the short tongue. I like the mix of the materials. Um, just two kind of basic ones. Nice bit of leather. I guess they're both leather, but you know, finishes. You've got a nice little tumbled leather here in the main part of the body. Then you've got this nice new buck here, which will nef definitely, I feel like, look a little bit better once you wear it in and beat up. Those are going to look absolutely banging. So yeah, big up Emily Oberg. I like all three. All three colorways are banging big up emily oberg for that one moving on we have to talk about another pair of sambas which i'm more fond of because they come from a black designer no 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 <laughs> not because of that mostly because they're flipping larry right and wells bonner has always done you know a pretty decent samba i think the the, the, the previous ones the brown ones go for crazy amounts of stock x like 600 plus and I think these might be the second one. These look like the quintessential shoe that's made for somebody who says they have a passion for fashion. If you meet anyone that says, I have a passion for fashion, or you meet the type of kid who carries around, unironically, a flipping analog camera and takes pictures of their friends standing next to lampposts and post boxes and next to drains and pavements or looking through, you know, um, cage fences and shit or touching spray paint on the wall or standing next to an old car right and they've got a passion for fashion and they like to share their outfits on tiktok i think they're gonna be into these look at these bad boys wells bonner and adidas full winter 23 um, footwear and the first edition is this bright shiny 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 Ada Samba that looks absolutely wonderful it's the complete opposite of what we saw with um sporty and rich Ada Sambas this has definitely been glossed up and hyped up so you've got this entire amazing silver patent body you've got these really nice little twirls on the stripes here that kind of look like they're thread a little bit which looks really cool you've got this nice little overstitch going on here the heel tab you've got the Wells Bonner stamp there screen printed which i'm not liking i would prefer it to be embossed because i feel like over time if you wear those in if you wear the shoes in or you wear them like i do we're you wearing them to wet raves and going crazy that's probably going to end up peeling off because it's been screen printed but then you've got it all completely silver and then you've got this solid um i'd call it it's kind of basically gum but it's not see-through but it's like a solid brown outsole um that kind of looks like a dark brown sort of gum colorway and you've got these nice off-white cell laces which i like nice and flat and long and what i like the most is the nice classic long samba tongue that tongue that kind of goes clack 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 at the front of your flipping shoe and flaps around as you're walking but i love these these are really larry these are really hot. These are really out there. It's definitely a passion for fashion sneaker. It's definitely the kind of thing you're going to get, you know, double takes on. It might be the kind of thing people might ask you, are you wearing your girlfriend's shoes? And you're going to say, no, I'm actually fashionable and I like what I'm doing. But I, I, I really, really, really like this. This looks really cool. And then you've got another cut in love shoe here, which I'm not too fond of. I'm not sure actually what that model is. I'm not really too fond of, um, you know, my, my expertise in Adidas models isn't the greatest. But you've got a dark brown upper with some nice... To be honest, what I do like about this is a colour combination. Again, kind of... Um, it goes by my rule of like, usually most, I think, great sneaker colourways are usually free. Free base colours. And what you've got here, this brown, you've got this burnt orange, and you've got this red. I think usually those are the perfect combinations for sneakers. Anything more than free, you're playing with fire. Then you have to get really precise with where you put the colors, what type of materials you use. 
do it in a clever way, blah, 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 to use lines, use stitches, to use whatever, what kind of finishes. But I think if you go for a sneaker calibration and you decide to go for three main colorways, so three main colors that you're going to use on the upper, usually you're kind of golden, especially if you leave the outsole plain like you did here. You've got an out, kind of like a off-white plain um, outsole here, so there's not too much going on. But the overall dark brown body with the burnt burnt orange stripes here and a nice red addition here on the heel tab and what i do like about it, if you look closely look at that little look at that little hit you've got the suede here on the heel tab and then you've got this nice little plush velvet lining so when you slide your foot in there it feels like you're slipping in yeah <laughs> it feels like you're slipping in but it looks really 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 lovely and then they've got another one as well the same model this is more of a reggae reggae one it looks like um you've got green um uppers and then you've also got this nice i guess that like you call it like a brown and orange which is sure what you'd say that would be and of course you've got a nice addition here as well with this with the laces but this is even better this is a two colorway combo and look how well that looks then with the group with the pine green or the minty green and that's all brown colorway i think that looks absolutely fantastic so big up gray as well bono for putting those together now if i scroll down see if we've got a date for these shoes um take a look at the look Take a look at these Wells Bonner SL SL72 knits and the Sambas coming up. So yeah, we don't have any idea on the dates here. It says the two upcoming pairs feature distinctive design details and remix from the past releases. Founded in reflective gum out gun metal tones and a look at the Samba includes a DNA like lace patterns um, over the lateral side pants. Okay, they're calling this DNA. Is that what it's called? It's called a DNA stripe. Okay, maybe it's a maybe it's a DNA. Maybe the the writer's taking creative license. Maybe, 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 maybe. Who knows? But still, no date just yet in terms of when they're coming out. But soon, but soon.